Okay, we've been given a circular motion question here where we've got a pilot that's flying his plane in a vertical loop, the loop of radius 3.5 kilometers, and he's able to complete the loop by flying constant, at a constant speed in 85 seconds. So the first question they ask us is what is the speed of the plane? So to start with, the best thing I think to do is to draw a picture of the problem. So let's just draw a bigger circle. So we've got a circle. That's his loop the loop. We've got a particular radius there. We'll call that R. And we know that R is equal to 3,500 metres. We know that the time it takes him to complete a full circle is 85 seconds. So this is pretty simple. We know that the speed of any object is going to be the distance that it covers over the time that it takes it to cover it. Now, the distance that's going to be covered by the plane in this circle is going to be the circumference of the loop the loop. So circumference is 2 pi r. And the time is just the period that it takes to go through one rotation. Now, we can just sub in the, the values that we've been given, sorry. So we have just 2 pi 3,500 over 85. And that gives us a value of 200 and 59 meters per second to the negative one. Great. So that's the first part of the question done. On to part B. Now, we are asked when he will feel the heaviest. Now, when he'll feel the heaviest in this loop is when the force due to his centripetal acceleration and the force due to gravity are adding together. So when we have the force due to centripetal acceleration is being added to the force due to gravity. Now this occurs at the bottom of the loop. So he'll tend to feel the heaviest right here. And at the top he'll feel weightless or will he'll begin to feel more weightless. So on to the final one. C. How heavy will he feel? So to start with we have to we have to calculate the reaction force of the chair on him, which is just that's where he'll get the feeling of weight from. And that's just going to be equal to the force that he applies to the chair. So this is going to be equal to the centripetal accelerator or the centripetal force plus the force due to gravity. Now, we can literally just sub in the numbers that we're given here. His mass is 85 kilos. We've calculated his velocity to be 259. That's going to be squared. And the radius is 3,500. So we're going to add that to simply his mass, 85 times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. And we're going to get a value of 2,444 
four newtons. So that's quite a simple circular motion question. I hope my methods will help. Uh, see you next time.